Hello, my name is Keith Levi. I am the chairman of the computer science department, and I'm going to be telling you about a course I teach called Web Application Architecture and Frameworks. This course is one of the most, if not the most important course in the entire curriculum. Um, and the reason it's so important is that almost all software these days is delivered as software over, over the internet. Um, and this is what a web application is. There's a web server that's running someplace um, which has the back end, and then the front end is, goes over the internet and you see it in your browser. We've been teaching this course for 10 to 15 years now, this is pretty much the length of time that this mode of software delivery has become the predominant way of delivering software in the industry. Uh, what was originally one course is recently we've expanded into three courses just because <clears throat> there's so much material as uh, the field keeps advancing. Um, we now have a course called Web Application Programming, um, CS445, which, a pre which is a prerequisite to this course. And in that course, we introduce the basic uh, a aspects of a web application, that there's a server side um, with the web server, and then there's the client where the stuff is delivered. On the server side, we're teaching a simple programming paradigm, such as the PHP uh, platform or maybe Grails. And then for the client, this is a course where we go into a lot of depth on HTML, JavaScript, and cascading style sheets. We have another whole course now on the back end where we teach uh, back-end technologies for persistence, um, transactions, and uh, security. With this course, the Web Application Architecture and Frameworks course, this course is focused on large web applications, um, things that run in an enterprise environment. Now, usually these, these sorts of large web applications are done using the Java platform or .NET platform. We, we use the Java platform um, but the course isn't particular to that. We, we teach underlying principles and technologies that are going to be common to either. Uh, for example, the HTTP protocol, uh, hypertext transfer protocol, is going to be used in any web application. That's the underlying protocol that defines how information goes back and forth across the Internet for these sorts of web applications. Then, based on that underlying technology, we show how the different ways that the Java platform has to work, how the server side has to work, and then we spend a lot of time on the client-side programming for the web application, and this would be with a technology called Java Server Faces. Um, Java Server Faces embodies the framework part of the course. So HTTP is kind of the underlying architecture of the course and how that gives rise to all the different uh, technologies in that platform. Java Server Faces is a, is a framework that embodies all the best practices that have been developed over the uh, last 10 to 15 years for web applications. And in particular, it uses an underlying design pattern framework called Model View Controller. And there's many different web application frameworks. All of these embody the, the Model View framework architecture. And they make it so that you have to uh, develop your application using these best practices. That's the main content of this course. This underlying architecture, model view controller, is determined by this HTTP protocol. So these are principles that are all going to be common to any platform that you're working on. Pretty much everybody's going to want to take this course. If you're going to be a modern software engineer, you have to know web application development programming.